friends. It is 6.05. Uh, Mabel and I slept in a little bit this morning. We were just outside, just did breakfast for her. And yeah, um, last night I actually prepped my lunch. I'll show you what I prepped. So I have these Brussels sprouts that I have to use up. And I'm actually going to pop them in the air fryer tonight and eat them for lunch tomorrow. I am pretty simple. I'll probably take like a, a, a jar of balsamic glaze and put on them. But I'm really just gonna do some olive oil, salt and pepper. I also have, I get these from Whole Foods, the Just Bear Spicy Chicken Breasts. I'm going to do some of those as well. So let me get a bowl out, toss these in there. Good olive oil really does make a difference. And then I'm going to do just some good kosher salt. Some fresh black pepper. And then I am going to hit these with a little garlic powder. And then, and then pop the lid on. And I'm gonna do probably like 375 for 15 minutes and then shake them halfway through. She is just now eating dinner. She's become such a finicky eater. Like she very much eats on her own schedule. But I'm still waiting for the debate so I figured, uh, why not take care of lunch now? This is the first week I haven't like prepped one thing for the whole week. I'm feeling like I want something different every day. So what I'm going to do is after those are done, I'm gonna zap a couple of those in the air fryer and that will be my lunch for tomorrow. Hey, love bug. Everyone thinks you're such a grown-up lady. Everyone thinks you're such a grown-up lady. We're such a lady. Aren't you? Oh, he's a beautiful girl. Who oh, at Zoomies, we did play. We did some play. All right. I love her so much. It's a beautiful girl. It's a beautiful lady girl. It's a ma beautiful. It's a ma beautiful. All right. So dinner, dinner. So my lunch is made. I'm gonna let it cool down a bit and then snap my lid on. I've been buying these containers from Air One. I really, really like them. But I'm gonna let it cool so I don't get a bunch of condensation in. Some will say these Brussels sprouts are burnt. I say they're perfect. I am just going to make some coffee and read a little bit. I was up later, that's why I slept in. And then I will get ready. We'll probably go for a little walk around the neighborhood. And then I'll head to work. I like to walk her when Steven's not here so that she has had some of that time before I leave. But she does great all day. She would rather be home alone than go to like a daycare for the day, so. That's what we're gonna do. So Mabes and I are taking a walk in the neighborhood right now. I love this house's blow-ups. I'm not a blow-up fan, but love them. All right, I'm gonna walk her and then I'm gonna go get coffee and head to work. It's like a little after seven right now. 
Hi friends, I am home from work. It's actually 4.30, but I've been home since probably four o'clock. Mabel and I spent some time playing outside and Steven's not here. I was deciding what I wanted to do for dinner and someone asked in the comments if I'd show you how I make the refried bean um, at home. And it's so easy, so I'm gonna show you. Let me spin you around. So many of you mentioned that you love cooking together and I love cooking with you as well. This is honestly though so easy. You're gonna be like, why did you show us? So I usually sometimes use green bell peppers for these. Actually, that's typically what I use, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna use a can of chilies that I have. So I'm going to add two cans of drained pinto beans. I'm gonna add this one can of diced chili, just a little bit of cumin. And then I'm gonna do a nice pinch of salt. I'm just gonna give this a quick little stir just to combine those flavors. Now, sometimes I also add a touch of pepper flake I think I'm gonna skip that today because I got a spicy salsa. So what I'm going to do, now that those are all combined, I'm just gonna add a half a cup of water and you're going to possibly want to add a little bit more water, you're, but you're going to wanna to wait till you start mashing this up. The goal for this water here is just to help me soften the pinto beans a bit. I'm not trying to get all of them. I even sometimes do this with the back of a spoon but just mashing enough of them to start thickening up the texture. And then I'm just gonna let these continue to cook until um, like all the water has evaporated. These might actually be at a thickness I want. If you find that yours are too thick, you can add a little bit more water to them. I'm finding that this looks pretty good but this is such a healthier version of what you would buy at the store, and it really has a better flavor, I find. Typically, once I have them like this mashed up, I will just use and drag my spatula and like break up those last beans. I've preheated my oven to 325, and I'm gonna make a couple of these so I have some left over but I'm just gonna put the bean mixture in. Sprinkle with some cheese and then fold in my sides. Fold, fold. And I'm gonna roll that and put the seam side down and I'm gonna bake them off like that and let them brown and get like, the, the tortilla shell get a little crispy. And then I'll top this with a little salsa. We'll call it a day. I might actually save mine for later. I might go for a run before. And then for my tortillas, my favorite are the Mission, here I'll show you guys. These Mission Carb Balance. And it's nothing about like me cutting a carb or anything like that. I just like the texture of them better. They are really soft. And we just really, I find that they crisp up really nice as well. So these are done. They're brown and crispy. They're perfect. Um, I'll use these for our dinner probably tomorrow and some lunch and have some tonight as well. But such an easy recipe, so much healthier. Love it. It's been a go-to for us. So enjoy. What? 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 No one sees this side of you. No one sees this side of you. No one. So anytime she hears anything, she thinks it's Steven. 
It's not that, oh, oh, this is gonna break my heart. She has gotten like this every week he's left. Like, she thinks any noise is him. Mabes, Mabes. I have dinner cleaned up. I ended up eating already. And now it's like 6.30. I think I'm going to go for my run and call it a day because I still want to edit all of this. But I am off the rest of the week. I'm going in to work tomorrow to just get a couple things done and get ahead of a couple things. And I'm going out with a bunch of friends uh, in the late after nah, afternoon. And then, um, yeah, I'm home. So I think we're gonna adventure into the city on Friday. Tomorrow, we'll figure out what we're going to do. There's a couple DIYs I wanna do. But I realize I haven't ended the vlog like I normally do, so I'm gonna bring it back. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.